about that later today as well. That's hour number two. And then in hour number three, we call it the power hour, real focus on the Stewie's man and the chat messages. And, and uh, you know, that's what we do in the third hour, man, and, and do what we do and kick it uh, with the Stewie's, all right? But obviously, man, today's big story is... Freaking Zaza Pachulia is a freaking clutch. <laughs> Zaza stinking Pachulia is a big-ass klutz. Golden State Warrior star Kevin Durant underwent an MRI after suffering a hyperextended left knee in the first quarter of Tuesday night's 112-108 loss to the Washington Wizards. Uh, the injury occurred during a loose ball situation where, in which Wizards center Marcin Gartat fouled Warrior center Zaza Pachulia, who then flailed all over the place, fell backwards into that man's knee. Let me stop right there. Many of you know the show is based in Atlanta, and so I follow Atlanta Hawks basketball probably more closely than any other team outside of the Lakers, which is my team. And Zaza played on this team for many, many years. Uh, solid player. I mean, he's, he's pretty much just like you'd get out of Andrew Bogut. You know, foreign player, good passer, you know, not a great player, obviously not a great player, but a solid player. That's why he's been in the league for so damn long. But Zaza is a freaking clutch, just like a lot of them players from Europe and overseas and, and whatever countries that they're from. He's a freaking clutch. <laughs> and it's ironic, the last time that Kevin Durant played in his hometown of Washington, uh, while with Oklahoma City, he suffered a hamstring injury that forced him to miss six games. That's right. So he's got real bad karma going back to D.C. You remember last year, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, when he was a free agent and, you know, all of these scenarios came into play about where Kevin Durant's going to go play if he leaves Oklahoma City. Um, and one of them was going home to D.C. You remember now, LeBron had already done it. LeBron had gone back home to Cleveland after being in Miami for a couple of years and winning some rings. So the thought was, is Kevin Durant was going to maybe go back to, to D.C. and help his hometown team win a title. Such was not the case, obviously, as he is a member of the Golden State Warriors. But it's almost like they put some type of root on Kevin Durant up there. Right. Uh, every time he goes up there, he gets injured. Now, they're still trying to determine the extent of the injury, and we're going to keep our eye on that on today's show. He's supposed to, you know, have it further examined. So, uh, best-case scenario is just a hyperextended, uh, you know, knee. And worst-case example or scenario is that um, – it's an ACL. As a matter of fact, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. <laughs> yeah, so this just came down six minutes ago on thepuppetfactory.com. And the Puppet Factory, if you didn't know, is, uh, is ESPN.com. <laughs> So this came out at 10.09, which is six minutes ago. Warrior star Kevin Durant will miss at least four weeks. That's all. At least four weeks after Golden State diagnosed him with a sprained MCL and a bone bruise, a bone bruise on his left leg that the team announced this morning. So praise his holy name. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So Kevin Durant's going to miss at least four weeks. Uh, they put at least in front of it, so that's not a good thing. Uh, they're not saying, you know, no more than four weeks. They're saying at least four weeks. So it could be four weeks. The minimum, it sounds like, it's going to be is four weeks, but it could be even more. But that's a good thing. Uh, evidently, no structural damage, no, you know, issues with the ACL or the MCL, no tears or anything like that because the way that went down last night and his reaction – it's kind of like the reaction you see when cats uh, tear an ACL. And so um, 
So so good for him. Good for the Golden State Warriors. I know that they're, um, you know, breathing a sigh of relief because this guy is leading the league in scoring right now, one of the top scorers in the league right now. He's actually leading the team in scoring. And he's leading the team in rebounding. Had no clue of that until I started reading up on this stuff this morning. But uh, very valuable. I mean, very valuable for the uh, Golden State Warriors, obviously. And here's the thing about it. Even if Kevin Durant weren't able to come back, I mean, Golden State's probably still going to make it to the finals. They still got Klay Thompson. They still got Draymond Green. They still got Steph Curry. Um, so it's almost like they overdoing it. Uh, when they brought in Kevin Durant, when Kevin Durant signed with the team, like, really, dude? Y'all got, like, three All-Stars, and now you're adding a fourth, uh, which arguably is the best player in the game? I mean, it's overkill. So they would have still probably made it to the finals. Their chances of beating, which uh, the team, which should probably be in there representing the East, Cleveland, would have been hurt a little bit. But, I mean, last year they were up three games to one with the same team, you know, that won the year before. And they just had this collapse. So, I mean, either way, Golden State probably would have been fine, but this is definitely good news if you're rooting for the Warriors. Uh, KD's going to be out at least four weeks, but it doesn't sound like it's anything serious where he's going to miss an extended period of time and miss the playoffs, so that's good stuff. Yeah. So that's good stuff. Um, In the meantime... And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. In the meantime, the Warriors had already uh, signed Matt Barnes uh, or were about to sign Matt Barnes. A firm injury diagnosis of Kevin Durant, um, which was expected today, which we just got just now, uh, basically made the Golden State Warriors have to shuffle around and decide on some players and some spots to fill on their team. They had already had an agreement with uh, Jose Calderon to come in and play for the uh, the Warriors, but they actually had the Knicks that, and they signed, or are about to sign, I don't think they've actually done it yet, they're going to sign Matt Barnes back to the team. And I did say back. Yeah. Um, the team reached out to Matt Barnes, who had been on the streets since February 20th after being released by the Sacramento Kings which, by the way, Matt Barnes is from Sacramento, but released uh, on February 20th by the team when they did all of that other stuff as well with Boogie Cousins and whatnot, and they they basically clean house trying to bring a new culture to their team. Um, And so they were set to give a deal to Jose Calderon, point guard who had been playing for the Lakers a long time, Toronto Raptor, been in the league a long time, but they basically had to to shit him. (laughs) Because of the position need, they had to basically do to on Jose Calderon. They're going to still pay the guy his money that they agreed upon, uh, but they're going to release him to make room for Matt Barnes. Uh, you got to remember, Matt Barnes played for Golden State back in, what, 2007, a couple of years. It was him, Baron Davis, uh, Steven Jackson back during that time. I think Nelly was the coach, and they were pretty – Fun team to watch. That's back during the times when uh, when Golden State was a pretty decent team, one of the few years that they were a decent team. And so uh, Matt Barnes, very excited to go back and play for the Golden State Warriors, obviously uh, getting an opportunity to win a ring. Um, so we'll see what happens with that now. KD is going to be out for at least four weeks. They still got to fill that spot. They still got to worry about the depth of the team or whatever. So it's probably going to go down. They've already told Jose Calderon that, bro, we apologize. We're going to pay you your money. We're going to pay you your money, but but you're not going to get a jersey. <laughs> right. Right, right. It, it, you're not going to get a jersey. You're good with the money we're going to give you that we agreed upon, but we can't give you a spot on the bench. We can't give you a spot on this team. So very interesting turn of events. We find out the KD is actually good in relative terms to the uh, to, to to the uh, to the contrary. Um, maybe a serious knee injury. He's going to be good to play in the playoffs. They got probably like right now probably like 22 games left in this in this half of the season before the playoffs come around. So that's uh, definitely a good sign and good news if you're a Golden State Warriors fan. 
Hey, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. And uh, we'll get into anything that you want on the show in the second segment of the show. On the second segment of today's show. Um, we'll still talk basketball. We'll read some of your messages in the chat room on Spreaker dot com. Um, and we gotta get into this NFL free agency. A lot of cats got their walking papers yesterday over the last twenty four hours, some big, big names. Some huge-ass names that we'll get into today on the show as well. So you can email me at Doug at the Doug uh, But once again, the easy way to get into the conversation is to jump into the chat room on Spreaker.com. Post your thoughts, you know, say hey to the people, and we'll start reading some of your chat on today's show. Yes, sir! Yeah. All right, when we get back from the break, man, we'll be gone for like three minutes. When we get back from the break, we'll read some of your chat messages, get some of your thoughts on Kevin Durant. Uh, What are your thoughts? Do you think that this is going to hinder the Golden State Warriors from achieving their ultimate goal and making it back to a finals and this time finishing the deal, running through the tape, and beating the Cleveland Cavaliers? What are your thoughts on that? And, uh... And uh, we'll read some of your chat messages to get to this football, all right? 404-382-0338. You can also email me at DougTheDugsRoshow.com. Don't go away. Back in three minutes.
step with swag. I, I step with swag. Step in with that swagger, you haters don't even matter. I step with swag. I, I step with swag. Step in with that swagger, 